Hi out there in the crypto world. I'm traveling still, so I'm a little behind again. I apologize for that. Uh, next week, I should be back in the office. We're waiting for more of our Helium hotspots to show up, as well as other hotspots from other networks that we're developing to put into to homes so that we can help out the people maintain their air quality control, as well as gain some income. Uh, so what we're gonna try to put in their homes will help them gain, well, at least half of what's a minimum salary and they can do that passively. And you know, it's funny because we're working right now with, with um, well, we're putting, helping put together a company that's going to actually invest. Uh, we're looking for, you know, we're gonna put together with this group $100,000 of what they're trying to raise. And it's a project that will get people that will, that will buy into the project. With that, they get a certain training rights and they'll get, uh, you know, we'll teach them how to become entrepreneurs or teach people how to actually be an entrepreneur in the crypto world, how to actually uh, create your own passive income stream that can actually make you self-sufficient and free of electricity, free of necess the, the, the necessity of, of using your internet and free of any type of bosses or government control. So we're doing this project and we're looking for, and I guess you could say we're looking for contributions each contribution is a thousand dollars for a hundred thousand dollars each one gets a right and there's a hundred rights that will be given out for each contribution those rights later can be turned into when the company when everybody's taught how to become an entrepreneur those rights later can be turned into a they get fruits from that and fruits will be in cryptocurrencies as well as a um, the right to vote so that those rights will give you rights to vote so you have control over the project and then the fruits from that would be a percentage of of what comes in from the the company so as we jump into this today let's go through what's going on we saw that helium has some glitches the last couple days I was just notified in between doing the intro and getting back to the house my daughter was in gymnastics practice and that's all because we're able to travel around it's my daughter's first time in the United States it's been a dream of hers and we were able to get her her paperwork, everything taken care of. And we're traveling around now because of our passive incomes that we have to group in DeFi IO2 Latin America that we generate and able to generate our incomes for all of us that work in that group through passive incomes and the type we teach you here based on blockchain and cryptocurrencies. So what's going on? Well, we see the market starting to come down a little bit, Bitcoin, that, that's normal. You know, we see now that the regulation passed. Joe Biden signed this thing. What a ridiculous bill, this infrastructure bill. It's just ridiculous these laws are passing. I mean, take the time to look into some of that, you know. I mean, pages, was that 2,000 pages? And the books aren't even that big. You don't write legislation that big unless you're trying to hide something, right? So what's going on with that? What's going to do to America? Listen to President Cardano yesterday. He said it. Just how it should be said. It will destroy the crypto market here in America. And put America behind because the crypto market is not going to disappear. It's going to exist. It's going to take Americans. They're going to go offshore with it. They'll figure out ways to go offshore. We will help with those ways. I'll do everything we can possibly do to help with trusts and where you can locate your trust. We're going to stay on top of those new laws coming out that will favor cryptocurrencies. We know the fat F's are really trying to come down too. But you got to remember that there are two people in in the Treasury that are on that committee, the fat F. So the same rules they're trying to implement here, they wanted to get those passed with the fat F, and then they could pass those laws here. The only hope is that we need to come together. We need to call our senators. We need to call our congressmen. And we need to start saying, explain, explaining, explaining, I'm speaking Spanish here now, explaining to them, explicandola, the importance of cryptocurrency and how this can actually buoy up a market and really help lower income level people, as well as higher income level people too, but lower income level people um, advance and come out of poverty. You know, there's a lot of addictions out there right now. Fentanyl is the biggest addiction right now. And that's being made in China and as well as in Mexico coming across the border, you know, through legal forms and a lot of the illegal forms that are coming across too, right? We need to get an addiction that's going to cause us to 
want to come up in life. And addiction in cryptocurrencies is fun. It's exciting. To see these new laws come out is saddening. But if we write our congressmen and, and, and write our senators, and we put enough pressure on them, at the end of the day, they will do what we want them to do. The problem is we're not doing that. People are out talking, but not doing. And, and I got to say that I haven't been doing a lot either. I've been out of the country. I've been talking. I'm doing a lot with the, the YouTube channel. We're trying to get this going. We're at 320 subscribers right now. Our goal is 500 by the end of December. Let's hope, see if we can hit it. We're young. We've been doing this, what, a month and a half? We're young. Uh, and we're learning as we're going. Especially me. I mean, I got all kinds. We have those good cameras on. I can take with me and travel with me. I don't know how to use the doggone things. I spend so much time during a day. On a typical day, I am four hours of study before I go on. And that's, that's every day. Before I go on and... Um, Talk to you. So I really try to make sure that we have a good understanding of things and stay on top of things. That's what our gift is here at DeFi IoT Latin America. We look down the road. We're looking for what's coming. We're looking to try to steer everybody, including ourselves, right, in the right direction. Because remember, we're not financial advisors. So we're trying to just help you understand what we're learning. Hey, just something on a note. Remember that hotspot I was talking about the other day? This one up here. This one here. Oh, I met, I, you know what? I talked about it in Spanish, but this wasn't working. And this is one of the problems I have with, I have global. I think there's some potential there, but how are these people going to actually learn? They get a hotspot in, like this one did. It's put up in the windows, the house we're staying at, and they put it up there, and it didn't work. It was, um, there were issues with it. I won't go into that right now. But we had to help them, you know, guide them through uh, to get this to work. And there's still some issues, but it's working now. It's starting to generate now. Not a whole lot. We got to get it up high, get a better antenna. But we're going to let it play here for a little bit, see what happens. Those are kind of things that I have global that concern me, that the people won't really understand how to do. Sorry, I'm walking around here. So back to what's going on with the regulation. It's going to make it tough. The thing is, it's going to make it so much paperwork that it's going to be almost impossible to do, right, in cryptocurrencies. They're already starting to KYC. I said, we, like last week I talked about, we got slapped. We're still on one platform, not able to, to move into a fiat currency. Move our cryptocurrency there, can't move into fiat currency, especially the dollar. And so that's what they're trying to control here is the dollar. So you know where that control is coming from is the U.S. The U.S. does not want to lose its power with the dollar. It's a political play to dominate the world, and it's sad. Because it's caused a lot of poverty when there's a lot of people out there that could rise. And look, I am very pro-America. I am very pro-America, our Constitution. I'll be straight up with you. I am a constitutionalist. I love our Constitution. And I will die defending that Constitution. So know who you're dealing with here. And that's why I defend DeFi, decentralized finance. I don't want the government in my backyard. I pay my taxes. I'll be honest. I'm a Christian. I do the right things I should do. And I don't need somebody looking over me for protection. Now, let's not be fooled. Those laws are not protective laws. And here we go. We're going to get a bunch of noise now. I can't go anywhere without these doggone landscape companies showing up throughout all the day and mowing lawns, blowing the, the leaves around. That's why I left the other place, came here. And now I'm sitting here. When they show up, they're going to do the same thing again. It's laziness, pure laziness. When you get that blower out and you blow leaves around, you don't pick the leaves up. That's just straight laziness. And we, in crypto world, you can't be lazy. What we're teaching you right now, hey, we, we, we seek out to find the truth. But we need you to do your part too, right? Well, listen, I got all this noise here. I, I'm in my own front yard. Well, I'm in the front yard of the people staying at. And there's no peace anymore. No respect either. So, need you guys to do your homework, okay? That's important. Fat F definitely wants to try to obligate countries to come down on them and issue laws where... You're not going to. Here's the blower again. Straight laziness, man. I'll tell you. To issue laws, just go in the house here, right? This is ridiculous, isn't it? Ah, man. Let's go in here. Hopefully, get a piece of quiet in here. <laughs> I tell you, I don't care what time I go out to record. That's why I'm not getting my videos out. I try to wait, and they show up. And it's like, not just one day, they show up like every day. 
at different hours at different neighbors' houses. It's like, I wonder what these people are paying for their yard work. You know, if they took that money and did their own yard work and put it in a crypto game or bought a hotspot of whatever type, a helium hotspot, for example, they would actually come out ahead. But they're being lazy. We can't be lazy in this game. We have to get up and call our congressmen. Call our senators. Write them. Put pressure on them to get things changed. And we can change it. Like I said, the President of Cardano yesterday mentioned that. There's a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of politicians that are actually pro Crypto, and they're going to try to pass laws right now to clarify a lot of that obscure language they use to where they can mold it to how they want to mold it. Like for mining, for example, or if you hold a node, right? Even for staking, this is going to be very difficult. And I've actually pulled out from staking. I'm not. This is all supposed to implement. You know, some of it's going to go in January, and some of it's going to roll into 2023. Okay, so it's supposed to be some clarifications coming along. Like it's going to be totally immediate. But what's funny is the platforms are going immediately. Like I said, they, they froze us and they're KYC in us. And they're going retroactive. They want to know where all of our funds came from the very moment we opened with Coinbase. And we moved money from Coinbase to this other platform. It's, it's just incredible. It's like they shouldn't be worried about Coinbase. Coinbase already took care of that. So, so in other words, every time we move money, we have to justify it, or not just one time when you put it in, you got to justify it each time you move to the platform. So if I take it from Coinbase and I want to put it someplace else, for example, in a different country, and I go to take that money out, I got to justify it again. So it's going to be the same as the banking system. Now, where are we going with all this? We're going to, it's, it's getting frustrating. There's a hope? I believe so. Cryptocurrency is not going anywhere. Why? Because they're regulating it. The stock market, the SEC, they all want a piece of that pie. The International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, they all want that crypto pie, but for themselves. It's not going to eliminate the crypto market. It's just going to make it very difficult for you and I to be able to invest and make any real gains in that, in that crypto market. And they're doing it for, to protect us. So please, people, you're smarter than I know you are. But you got to be you got to have to be on your toes. you got to do your part. So, Helium had some issues. The issues with Helium are resolved now, as you know. And um, there was some downtime, you know, with the Helium. But apparently, I just got an email saying it's all up now. That's good. So, that's two things. Three things would be that, you know, I have Global came out the other day. And they um, were asking people to actually vote on this HIP39 issue and telling them how to vote. I got a problem with that. This is a decentralized network. And like I've said, we're, in, we were, we're involved with iHub, but I'm not liking where they're going. So we're going to pressure iHub to back off and let the people make decisions. But I don't think they really want intelligent people working with them. I don't think it functions well if intelligent people are working with them. I know we've offered many things and they're rejecting us and bypassing us to a mouthpiece in Latin America that's in Mexico that basically just repeats and regurgitates what they tell them to repeat and regurgitate. I asked many questions at, at the IHUB Global Conference. And in those questions were, you know, are you going to make more changes? Now you're saying you're charging. Before you were saying it was free, this hot spot. Now you're saying you're going to charge a $100 deposit and then $18 a month once they go online. There is no clarification that $18 a month gets reduced from your wallet or you got to pay it regardless. My understanding is you have to pay it regardless because it's a leasing agreement. Then I asked the question to, to Mr. Stern, with all due respect, I said to him that, is that going to be theirs then? He's just going to say, I don't know. We haven't got that yet. So then the question was, will there be more changes since now you're offered a free hotspot? Will there be more changes coming? He said, most likely. So with all due respect to Mr. Stern, all the principals there, I talked to all of them. They were very open and were able to talk to me. But I noticed, and with all due respect, I say this, very closed. i would given suggestions. I see they've heeded those suggestions. When I spoke to Mr. Stern about certain aspects, for example, data mining, which I was told from their end that, no, it can't be done. I said, yes, it can be done. So then they come out and offer at the conference, hey, we're going to allow you to help 
due to data mine as well to increase your HNT, et cetera. Um, and, and a lot of things were kind of thrown out there. I want to help, but there's like they're pushing me away, especially their contact in Latin America where we fall into more so, are being pushed away. So it's close knit. What concerns me, and I'll be honest with you, I think there's a great potential of IHA Global to be able to gain a team and gain this affiliated marketing commissions structure. I think that's there. People will go in, and I think this should have been done in the first place. And I, I voiced that in the beginning to the Latin uplines we have. That, hey, you can't give away a free hotspot and expect people to hook it up. And they sent out 7,000 hotspots, and 2,000 never got went online because they were given out free, apparently. So they're saying, well, you put $100 down, you make payments monthly, uh, and then for three years, and then you also get an antenna now. So that's really what it should have been in the first place. Just the downside is changing it now causes people to think, hmm, and question, right? What I don't like, though, is that they're trying to gobble up all the hotspots for themselves. And yesterday, myself and four others were online and tried for an hour and a half to buy a rack, MN, MNTD, that they went, um, they dropped yesterday, unsuccessfully. Not one went through. I wrote rack, they got a hold of me, and said 25 million hits, requests, went in yesterday. What's happening? Bots. And you've got companies like iHub that are just trying to buy up link stocks. I bought with link stocks and I am very sure, now I'm not 100% sure, but I'm very sure I bought with link stocks before iHub Global. And if I'm not mistaken, I also wrote principles of iHub Global or a principle mentioning that, hey, these were available. Well, iHub Global had them at the conference to give out. To their people and they're doing giveaways too with Link's Thought. Yet Link's Thought owed me for over a month now eight hotspots. And they wrote me back saying, Well, you know, we're doing our best support. I said, What about Hub Global? I said, Well, they kept kind of writing back very abruptly. They responded, but very abruptly in, in, in short, just saying that, you know, I have Global is in there getting their getting their, their hotspots in turn as well. Right? We're working with everybody, everybody Faraday, etc. etc. Unfortunately, I don't think that's exactly true. And unfortunately, I think the corporate money coming into this, into Helium, is dirty in the water for us. And this vote on HIP39, I have Global sent out an email. I don't, I don't, I, I know what is in English. And they sent out an email and instructing everybody how to vote, even with the instructions how to vote and in writing. That can't be done and it shouldn't be done. And we as a community need to say, uh uh, I have Global, you can participate, but that's enough. Hasta ya, in Spanish, right? So that concerns me, what they're trying to do. I control the market because if they get enough people out there that are really ignorant to helium, which unfortunately get outside the borders of the U.S. and Europe, and most people are very ignorant to helium with all due respect. And I say that ignorance because they don't understand what it is. They never heard it before in their life. All they're being promised now is they can make lots of money. And they're being promised thousands of dollars. So you got I, we got hotspots popping up all over the place now that weren't even known about a month and a half ago. And they're not making any money on it. They're hooking them up. So I offer to do videos and so forth there. I don't think they'll take us up on it. I think they'll do it themselves because I see this kind of very close knit. And it disappoints us.